everyone welcome back to rts and welcome back to another start to finish <laughs> yes record the story that is what we're going to do today now today's start to finish layout will absolutely coincide with what we did yesterday in our go to design series with the happy horizontal yes so excited now i'm not going to talk a lot because i talked a lot yesterday and so absolutely what i'm going to do is i'm going to be working off another load prompt and today uh, for the load prompt which load stands for layout a day and there will be a lot of information listed below if you want to hear more about that i absolutely love the load event it happens a couple times a year and it absolutely has helped me in my process and in my journey to record the story i will never say enough about the load event yes so sue gave us a prompt today and it is for based on the south pacific musical in 1949 and so we were to record the story or do a page a layout using a beautiful setting or a vacation story or use mist or splatters on your page now mist and splatters is part of the mixed media thing and i don't really get into a lot of that so of course when i thought of the musical south pacific and a beautiful setting i thought of some of my five or seven photos that i took when i was in hawaii and i still have these two incorporate into my yearly album or my Hawaii album. I haven't figured out where these will land, but I know I want to do them. Okay. So of course, with my load prompt, I don't have a kit or I don't have uh, anything <laughs> as far as working with this page. So what I did is I pulled a few papers that I would help with my mood and feel. And what are they? I have some Maggie Holmes chasing dreams. And then I have some crepe paper. What was this from? The Oasis line. And then I have some simple stories. So I, I'm basically dealing with three different little, uh, some three different manufacturers here. And so I'm going to play with these. I'm not quite sure how it's going to go, but I know it's going to go fast because it is a happy horizontal. I mean, a couple cuts of paper. Now, because my paper is so colorful and my photo is so pretty, I'm not going to use a lot of anything else because this is what I want to stand out. Of course, I do have some washi left over <laughs> from yesterday's video. Boy, did we ever play yesterday. Man, that was fun. I did not want to stop that video. Now, with this, I did pull a couple stamp sets, and it's only because it was travel. And so I have these Technique Tuesday stamps. I may put them on a few little embellishments. I'm not sure. I may not even use them at all. And then I absolutely do not know why these fringe scissors are on my brain. I don't know if it's because I've been cleaning and reorganizing as far as my desk and I keep seeing them, but these are on my brain and I don't know, maybe also because of this. I'm not sure, but it's not like I've been watching Edward Scissorhands or anything. I don't know. They've just been on my brain. And I think what it is is because honestly, you know, I'm on a spending freeze, so I'm looking around at what I have, not what I bought. So that makes a huge difference, okay? Okay. Now, I will have some spending free videos linked below if you would like to watch them. And uh, in a month or so, I'll be telling you how my entire year went in the spending freeze and what my plan is for 2019. Hmm, wonder what that will be. Okay, now also too with this, I don't have much of anything to play with. Some scissors, some stamps, but I do know... I want to show you this. This is going to be a lot of my inspiration for my title and what I want to convey. And it is this quote here in Hawaii and Hawaiian. And I will not be able to even come close to pronouncing this. And let me pull it up here. And but the, it says in Hawaiian, live your life while the sun is still shining. And that is exactly what I'm going to use for this uh, for this page. And I'm <laughs> Look how many A's I'm going to need. So I know I can't use thickers or alphas because I won't have enough. So you know what that means, ladies? We got to break out a die set. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I got my inventory binder, my catalog here. And I'm absolutely going to go to my dies. And I think what I'm going to do, I was leafing through some of these. As I was absolutely just looking for an alpha. And so I went to the back here. And would you believe I found... An old school, old, old school <laughs> Sizzix, and it's in the sunset. And I honestly think that's what I'm going to use for my title. It's going to be long, and it's going to take up the majority of my page, because, so I don't need a lot of embellishments. It's going to be my title and my photo and the color of my pattern paper. And so then I did see, what else did I see? I thought I saw something here. Yes, I saw a couple of these, and I may pull a couple of them in. But that is honestly 
I, I just think I'm just not going to embellish a lot because I want my photo and my title to stand out because that's really what it's about recording the story yes I don't need a ton of embellishments okay and you know I might pick in a couple other things I don't know we'll see what we come up with who knows <laughs> who knows what we'll come up with absolutely I just love this I absolutely love looking at my catalog binder it does not go very far so that is what I'm going to do it is going to be a very quick page other than <laughs> running those dies and getting that long title. But again, that is my page, my, t my title and my saying for my title and my photo. And of course, I love this paper and this would be beautiful to fussy cut. I don't know if I have the energy for that, but it's, I, I sure would love that. But then I also have this, okay, just beautiful papers. And I honestly don't know how I'm going to take this. But I, I just love all these papers. Yes. And this is again from the Oasis. And then <clears throat> I have these. Oh, and I have this background. So who knows? I may use this as a background. Oh, that's, oh, yeah. Two for one right there. Okay. Now there's a happy horizontal. Cut that in half. Bing, bang, boom. Yes. Okay. So I will be back with my South Pacific <laughs> load prompt. And we'll see what this start to finish looks like again. Oh, and you know what? I'm still have this on my desk. I love that. <laughs> yes. Okay. I will be back with a finished page. Okay. I am back with my finished uh, tropical page, which was prompted by the load event. And so I thought, well, what would we do? Okay. Well, let's talk about the papers first because I may get asked that because I do have five pieces of paper on here. Yes, yes, yes. And we'll talk about what else is on this layout at the end. So hang on to that. Okay. So this pink palm leaf paper is by Cray Paper and it is the spring break. That is this right here. And then the B side of this is this wood grain. So you can see that's the wood, wood grain. And you can see a very thin mat right here. Okay. So then this adventure where I have my mat, which is offset. And I'll talk about that in a minute. That is the B side to postcard. Okay. Now I will show you what that paper looked like because I had that here. Okay, and that was this sheet here, postcard by the Crate Paper Oasis. Very, very pretty if you have any tropical photos or story. You don't have to have a photo to tell a story. And then that is the B side to that. Very, very pretty. And so I would suggest if you're picking up this paper, get two because one can serve as a background. Okay, and then I'll just pull that out here. I just had that. So then this uh, turquoise is this sheet right here, which is the simple sor simple stories you are here. And of course it's called a green map and a teal map. Very, very pretty and very, very versatile. And then of course the beautiful showstopper pattern paper here at the bottom, that is by Crate Paper. And that is from the Chasing Dreams, Maggie Holmes, Hello Beautiful. Yes, very, very beautiful paper. Yes, okay. Now let's talk about the happy horizontal because that is the topic of this series is our go-to designs and so we have a happy horizontal so if you look now first of all you may think this is a complicated page but it really isn't it is a very simple page it's just because of the use of color and my pattern paper it looks complex but it's very simple because if you take away my embellishments and my honking title which i'll talk about that in a minute what do i have as the bare bones i have this teal uh, matte paper on the top and then this beautiful Maggie Holmes paper here on the bottom and then where is my horizontal line right there my uh, seam is just that postcard which was just a scrap left over and that's what I did because I didn't want to draw too much attention to that seam because everything I want right here at this photo so right here right there is my happy horizontal then of course I have that happy horizontal on a mat and then I have it on another map which is offset on my very very background mat of my pink paper so if you if i could cover everything up and let's just play <laughs> if i could cover everything up and cover this up do you see where this is just my happy horizontal right here and then this paper right here very very simple so this is what i'm saying about go-to designs when you tear down a sketch because some people are you know, when they look at sketches, they just get automatically frazzled because it's like, oh, it's too much work. No, take away the photos and take away the embellishments and look at the bare bones. And then once you get that go-to design on that bare bone, and in this case, the happy horizontal, then you can take your page any which way you want. Now, that does take a little bit of time. <laughs> 
It does. It just isn't something that happens overnight, but the more you do it, the easier it, be it becomes. And that's why when I look at sketches, I pay no mind to where the embellishment uh, placements are or the photo size because I'm looking at bare bones because that is the springboard I need to get started. The rest just comes along for the ride. Okay, so that is the Happy Horizontal right here <laughs> with this little, little, you can't see some of it, but it's the seam that I covered up that seam right there. And then of course it's on that very thin mat on another mat which is on my background. Yes, so that is the Happy Horizontal in the offset. And then also, too, you notice I brought out my corner rounders, and then I also brought out photo corners, okay? So that is just how you dress up that Happy Horizontal, but it is very, very simple. Okay, now, let's talk about the title for a minute because the title is in Hawaiian, and I thought I had counted that up because in I think in the Hawaiian alphabet what there's only 13 letters I think that's correct and so of course because of the load prompt of the South Pacific musical that was our load prompt from 1949 you know you were supposed to scrap something beautiful and so I wanted to showcase a beautiful photo that I had when I spent some time in Hawaii and then that is what my layout is about is this beautiful photo with this beautiful saying about you know live your life while the sun is still shining which is in hawaiian so that is my showstopper okay and so i wanted to give a little bit of tip about that is that when you're doing and working on a big title on your page there's two things to remember write it out and plan it out okay and what do i mean by that that means actually getting a piece of paper and writing out what you want to say and then planning how many letters you need because remember there's no way I would have enough thickers I'd probably have to have three thicker packs just to do that one title so of course I broke out a Sizzix um what do they call the Sizzlets is that what they used to call it I broke this out now this was by the sunset font very very fun for a tropical page of course that's probably why it's called sunset honestly yes mood and feel baby mood and feel and so then since I uh, wrote it out and planned it out. I knew when, when I went to my die cutter, which I just use a big kick, you know, the red and white old school. Yes. I knew how many A's I needed. I needed seven A's. And so I just worked from that and I ran through everything two at a time. And so it went very quick, but because I knew ahead of time what I needed. I didn't look at my title and say, oh, I need an O, and then I came here, and then I looked for the O. And then I said, oh, I needed an I, and then I came and looked for my I. No, I did it in reverse. I wrote down, I need seven A's, I need three O's, and yada, yada, yada. And so then I just kept running them through, running them through very, very quickly, okay? Now, how did I adhere them down? I used, of course, my quick dry on just about, well, everything. I used quick dry on everything other than my ATG because no matter what I used, my quick draw okay now you could have certainly ran these letters through the Xyron that little X but sometimes I think they get very gummy and I did not want to see any residue on these letters because I had so many of them okay so that's what I'm saying when you're doing a big title write it out and then plan it out and what do I mean by plan it out after I ran everything through and I came over here and had a loose idea of where I wanted it I needed to plan where it was going to be, and that meant I did not want to adhere anything else because this title is my page, of course, with the photo. So the photo I adhered after the title in case I didn't have enough room. So that's what I mean by planning it out. So when you have a big title, this is almost one of those things you need to do first rather than last. Okay, and sometimes we do that. We do our titles last. But when you're doing a big title, do it first, and then everything else you can shift because this is going to take up a lot of room. Okay, so yes, when you're doing a big title, write it out and plan it out. Okay, so... Now, when I was doing this title, oh, I think everything just shifted. <laughs> or was that a Vertigo episode? I don't know. <laughs> I've been dealing with that lately, too. Ugh, yes, okay. So when I was working on this title, one way to, of course, get your spacing and everything, and then use your T-square. And here's something I've been doing over the last year, is because, you know, with the T-square and your layout, everything gets shifted, everything gets moved. But when I'm actually working on something that I want very centered, very squared, what I'll do is I will come and use my T-square on a straight edge, and then I'll use something to weight down this T-square so it doesn't move on me when I'm working on this title, because I had a lot of letters. I think there was how many? I'm not sure. I think it was 24 letters, something like that. And so what I did while, while I was working on this top line, I made sure that I came over here 
and I weighted this T-square down with these heavy <laughs> fringe scissors, or you can use anything you have, a punch or anything. And so then what happens is that prevents that T-square from getting shifted while you're working on this title. So that's just a little tip. And actually, I think I learned that from, hmm, I don't know who I learned that from, but I learned it from somebody. So weigh that T-square down so it doesn't shift on you while you're working. Because this is a big title. It took a little bit of work. Yes, but it was well worth it. Okay. So again, of course, with the photo, I made sure I put that after I had the title it here. Because I really did not want the photo down this far. Because I wanted this whole entire flower, if you can see this. I wanted this whole entire flower to be shown but I couldn't because I needed to see this so I had to say which is more important seeing this whole flower or showcasing the title and of course the title won out okay so now let's talk about what do we talk about you want to talk about the flowers or we want to talk about our bamboo <laughs> yes I had so much fun with this page and honestly wait till at the end and you'll see what this page really consisted of it's really nothing major it just is pretty because of the colors okay so let's talk about the flowers and the leaves okay so here you see a cluster and here you see a cluster and of course this brings forth another cluster but I didn't do anything to that that was just my paper that's why I'm saying use your pattern paper to your benefit that's what the designs are for so up here I have these flowers and the stems and these leaves so my flowers came from this uh, Martha Stewart. I'm going to call this an hibiscus flower, but I'm, I'm not sure if that's the right term. But that is the punch I used, my Martha Stewart. And then for these leaves and things of that nature, I used my slice machine again. Yes, I broke out the one called Jungle. <laughs> yes. And I used these three leaves here. Okay, and I just used them in different sizes. And then I just used plain old white cardstock, the leftover scraps, and the green was just leftover from the reverse of that teal map. That's what I did. Very, very simple. And then, of course, I layered some because this is getting uh, kind of layered and kind of gets some depth to it and some texture. I, I made sure I broke out my foam tape. And so some of these have foam tape underneath. Okay. And then, of course, you know, when you're dealing with anything with leaves and flowers, if you can, take up your... Uh, ends and bend them up and that'll uh, create movement on your page because how often in real life when you look outside leaves are uh, waving in the wind <laughs> yes so if you can now when you put them in a page protector sometimes they still might not be popped up but that's okay you'll still get to see some of it so whenever I'm doing that I just take my finger and I will uh, bring forth those up a little bit that's it okay so now what is next okay so all two uh with my flowers you'll notice that my flower centers what did i use i broke out some prima uh was this by frank garcia is that who this is by yes it is frank garcia uh saint tropez that's what i'm saying it i don't know if that's right but these are the crystals very very tropical very sea glass looking so love that very inexpensive for 48 crystals and so then of course i'll show you that these crystals <laughs> made me do something else okay so in these crystals you see i used the teal and then they had the addition of gold so i needed a little bit of something to add as a filler and so i broke out since i had the gold i thought okay well i could bring out some gold stickers well i, th I think these are maggie Holmes. these little uh word stickers uh, that had the gold in them they're ivory and gold even though i have white on here it doesn't matter i used them ivory and gold and so that's what i put i used three of them of course why visual triangle so you see one here says remember this and one here says moments captured and one down here says memories of simple moments okay so of course i have a visual triangle here with the gemstones and then another visual triangle here for the gemstones and then these word stickers again in a visual triangle okay and i think let's talk about the bamboo Okay, so with the bamboo, yes, you know, <laughs> I told you these fringe scissors was on my brain. And so then when I was looking at one of these Simple Stories papers, it had this type of bamboo, and I think it was the, it's the, you are here, but it was a 6 by 12 of this right here, okay? So I thought, you know what? I'm going to take my fringe scissors to that, and that's what I did. I simply just took my fringe scissors, and I just, I didn't go the whole way up to the top, and that is what I did. I just made strips of that, and that is how I got this bamboo feel down here. Again, more texture, more dimension. Love that, because that's what you see in the in the tropics. Yeah, <laughs> so I just had to, I just had to get it on there very fun to play love that love that okay so i think that was what i wanted to show as far as the supplies and that type of thing very very 
pretty page, very simple page because of the happy horizontal. It's just I got fun with the embellishments and that type of thing. Now I want to talk about, I want you to notice three things on this layout. Okay, because this is a very simple page. Okay, then notice the three things I wanted you to see is that every this is a busy page. So if you notice that I purposely have some space on my layout where there's nothing meaning clear over here. Okay, and why did I do that? Because this is so busy. I needed your, you know, you have to have a place for your eye rest. So over here, I didn't feel, I didn't feel in everything. I purposely left this part blank. Okay, and then the other thing I want you to notice is that how many of my elements are touching one another, and that creates again movement on the page because then your eye is moving from one thing to another. So you can see up here at the title, the top of these are not adhered, and so they are touching my actual. Um, my journaling, I shall say. It says, live your life while the sun is still shining. And so then these flowers are actually touching the title. And then down here, my photo is touching these flowers. The flowers are touching the bamboo and so forth. So all of these elements are connected just by that simple notion of them touching each other. Okay, so the overlapping and touching, that's really how you can take your, ta your page to the next level. It feels more interactive that way. And then <laughs> the last thing. I want you to look at this layout and I want you to notice what this layout really is cons uh, consists of. What is it? Paper and paper only. So you think paper? Yeah, paper. <laughs> because honestly, I have my background papers, my mat, and then my happy horizontal papers, and then my title is made out of papers. And then of course you have my photo, which that's paper, and then it's on a mat, and then my flowers and my st stems and my leaves and my bamboo all of those elements, every single thing on this layout is paper other than six gems and three little word stickers. Now, isn't that something? So this is why we love paper. This is why we buy a lot of paper because here is a page, a prime example that you really don't need a lot of themed embellishments to create a page, okay? Because it's paper, 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 paper. Yes, it is. And I looked at that uh, when I was finishing up and I thought, how much of this is really paper? Yes, fun to play with paper, fun to use papers as your mood and feel. Okay, now this layout will probably go in my 2005 album, not my Hawaii album. And if somebody would want to see that Hawaii uh, album as a flip through, I did that entire album in a project life style. It was the one and only I ever did in a project life pocket page style. So if anybody would want to see a flip through of that Hawaii album, I'd be glad to share that. And then also too, in that album, I uh, did something it was the biggest accomplishment I ever did as far as photos. I got 50 photos, five zero. <laughs> yes, 50 photos on a one page layout, not a two page, a one page layout. I got 50 photos and yes it's my biggest accomplishment when it came to the number of photos on a page so if anybody would want to see a flip through how i included memorabilia in that hawaii album how i did it project lifestyle just you know just leave me some comments and i'll share it uh in a you know uh soon Okay, I think that is all I have for this happy horizontal part of this go-to design. So what does that mean? Well, that means I'm, I'm happy with this page. Love it. Very, very fun, especially since we've been dealing with rain again. It was nice to uh, feel the heat. <laughs> Yes, go back. And of course, all prompted again by the load event, which was the, you know, the theme Broadway rhythm. Can't say enough about that. And again, there's a discount code below that you can certainly sign up. There'll be one coming up in February, but I'll talk about it in, again in January, but there's a discount code right now. You can get a, a percentage off of that. Okay. So I think that's all I have for today. Come back in maybe two or three days. We'll talk about the next go-to design, which will be grids. Okay. That's all I have for today. Come back to RTS because you never know what we're going to learn. Bye.